Hi, I'm Tuppence Middleton and today I'm at ID Audio Studios recording the audiobook for The Seven Sisters Maya Story by Lucinda Riley. I think uh, the characters that I enjoy voicing the most are probably Gustavo and Marina. Um, Marina is um, the French kind of caretaker of all, all of the sisters. Uh, she is sort of a mother figure to them and um, it was really fun to do the French accent and she's uh, just a very kind, warm-hearted person. And uh, Gustavo I love to do because he's kind of the character that people love to hate. He's actually quite sweet really, um, but he has quite a nasal sound to his voice and actually I'd chosen that voice for him um, quite early on when I was reading the book uh, in preparation and then later on I saw that Lucinda had written that he um, had that kind of uh, sound to his voice so it, it, it seems like we were quite matched instinctively. <laughs> My favourite part of the story to record was um, definitely the parts in Rio although they were some of the most difficult because there were a lot of um, pronunciations which were quite difficult for a Brit. Um, once I kind of got my head around those then I found uh, the section about the the building of the Cristo really interesting because I didn't really know much about it. Of course I've seen the images hundreds of times so um, yeah I really loved to learn about uh, Rio at that time because it was so well researched. It's really great when um, an author gives you those cues for kind of character creation. Often they might describe uh, the sound or the quality of someone's voice. Um, sometimes it feels very natural. You instinctively know how to do that person. And I think when you're um, doing voices of lots of different genders and nationalities, then sometimes you have to be creative and, and you know, you have some artistic license and, and the, the, the listener is able to accept that perhaps you're not, um, you know, a man in his 50s from Rio, but uh, but somehow the writing transports you there anyway. So I always think it's um, it's already there in the writing. It's those characters are so fully formed that you can't help um, make very clear decisions about them in your head before you'd even started, really. For this book, I had to perform a couple of different accents. Um, we made a decision that so many of the protagonists in uh, various storylines were from Brazil, that it might become distracting to have a sort of non-native doing the accent constantly. So um, all of those characters became a kind of RP, neutral sound. And so the accents that were left were really French and German, um, both of which I found really fun. Uh, it was it was more actually the, the challenge was more in differentiating between those characters because there was probably about four or five French characters and um, the fun is trying to make them sound like anything from uh, a young attractive man in his 30s to a kind of old sculptor and then um, a very warm hearted sort of mother figure so yeah, I think that's fun when you get one accent, but you, you're doing lots of different um, uh, characters within it. I haven't read all of the books, actually. Um, I'm very new to this series and um, I'm sort of angry at myself that I haven't read the other ones because I really, really loved Maya's story. And so, of course, at the moment, Maya is my favourite sister because... Um, I feel a, a real affinity with her and I've been on a very long journey with her. But um, even seeing snippets of the other sisters in her story made me so intrigued to go and read the others because I think they're all such interesting, different, fully formed characters. And um, yeah, so I've got all of the rest of the books waiting for me. I would maybe ask why Rio? I'd love to know her connection. Um, to the city, uh, to, to the country, and to hear more about the decision to, to set it there because it's such an interesting time, such an interesting period of history. And from what I can sense from this book and all of the other books, of course, I imagine take you on um, 
fantastical journeys is that she really loves travel. So I'd love to uh, to pick her brains about where she's been in the world and what she's learned. <laughs>